Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I just want to say I am so sorry that I haven't been uploading that much lately. I've just been going through some personal stuff lately in my personal life. There's been a lot going on. I was also sick. Like there was just so much going on all at once. I literally felt like life just hit me like a truck. I'm mean, trying to film more often again. I'm just like there's still a lot going on so I'm gonna try to do my best to film as much as I possibly can. Today I filmed my no foundation tutorial, routine, whatever. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna call this yet. Um, basically, I just haven't been wearing foundation lately. I just feel like I don't really need it. Especially with summer coming up, I just don't really wanna wear foundation. I don't wanna have to deal with it. And I just have been loving how it has been looking lately. At first, I just felt like I wasn't used to it. I didn't, I felt like something was missing when I wouldn't wear foundation. But now, like after figuring out like little things here and there like how to adjust it to my skin or whatever just to make it look like as best as possible I actually love how it looks I'm kind of like over foundation honestly I'm super inspired to start like cutting out foundation because of Jay Kissa she never wears foundation and she looks amazing all the time you guys know Jay Kissa is like one of my favorite youtubers so she definitely inspired me to stop wearing foundation and I love it so many of you guys had asked me how I did it or like how like little tips and tricks on like how to make it look good honestly like I didn't even know at first like do I wear primer do I you know do I put powder on my face like blah blah, blah. so um I kind of just learned things here and there also Jay Kissa did a whole video on like why she doesn't wear foundation and all that stuff so if you guys want to see that video I will link it down below she has like a lot of tips and tricks and that's where I learned a lot of it from so yeah anyways if you guys want to see how to get this no foundation look then just keep watching okay so when I don't wear foundation I really like to focus mostly on my skin before makeup but first I'm gonna spray the pixi wake up or the vitamin wake up mist uh this basically just makes my skin look more awake considering I just woke up like a little while ago so I want my skin to be looking bright so I'm just going to spray a little bit of this. It smells like oranges. Um, it smells really good. I love this. Move on to moisturizer. So I'm going to be using the H2O Plus Aqua Defense Protective Matcha Facial Moisturizer. This just like protects against environmental stressors and, you know, all that stuff. So I just want my skin to look very hydrated and moisturized. So I'm just going to put this here. And this smells really, really good. I love the way this smells. That's pretty much all I do like just to prep my skin during the day. Now moving on to what I feel like is the most important part um, when I don't wear foundation. So that is just concealing. Depending on how my skin looks that day, um, I will either spot conceal or just conceal where I feel like I need it the most. Today I don't really feel like I have that much redness. Sometimes I have, red have redness around my nose, but today I don't. But I'm just going to put concealer under my eyes. And when I don't wear foundation, I like to wear a little bit less coverage found I mean, less coverage concealer. Like, you guys know I love my Tarte Shape Tape, but it's just a little too full coverage for when I don't wear foundation. It just kind of looks off. Like, there's just so much coverage here. And then, like, you know, my skin. It just, it just doesn't look the best sometimes. So, like, sometimes I will wear it but most of the times I will use this. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is one of my favorite concealers of all time, and I use this all the time. I'm in the shade Light, and this matches my skin tone perfectly. It gives a little bit of like a highlight under my eyes, but not too much. It's pretty much like the same color as my skin. I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes. Sorry. And I'm not like doing the triangle thing like I usually will with concealer. I'm just really putting this where I need it. I apply a little bit on the sides of my nose because it is a little red there um, and a little bit like right here just because I just woke up and my lips get like swollen in the morning. But other than that, I think that's all. Actually, I have a little bit of redness like right here. And this concealer is so easy to use because it has like a little sponge. So it's just like boom, 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 wherever you need it. And this is my favorite concealer to use on a day-to-day -day basis. A lot of the times I just blend this out with my fingers. Um, I'm gonna use the Makeup Shack. I don't know what brush this is. It just looks like this. I'm just gonna blend that out. I love this concealer because it gives enough coverage, but it still lets your skin peek through, which is what I like. 
I'm gonna apply a little bit more just right here. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do when it comes to like concealing or anything. I don't really feel like I need to conceal that much. I'm just gonna set that with the NYX Banana HD Powder, the one I always use. Moving on to the rest of my skin. Um, sometimes I apply primer and sometimes I don't. It kind of just depends. Probably should have done that before I set my concealer. Oh well. I'm gonna take the Maybelline Baby Skin and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that where I'm gonna just apply like blush and highlight and stuff. So just like in this area. Just from like what I've experienced or just like by trial and error, I am gonna like set that primer with just like a translucent powder. I'm just gonna take the Derma Blend uh, Loose Setting Powder just to set that primer down and so all the powders will blend a little bit easier and smoother on my skin. And I'm just gonna take that with the same brush that I set my with. And I'm just putting that in like this area just so like the contour and bronzer will just blend like seamlessly and not be all blotchy. Okay, so that's pretty much all I do for like the like concealing part for my face. So I'm just going to add some bronzer. I'm just taking the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It's my fave. It's still getting over being sick. It's been like two weeks. So I'm just adding a little bit of bronzer to like my forehead. And I have found that when I don't wear foundation, I feel like bronzers come off like really warm on me for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm just going really light handed with it. I'm just going to give my skin some color because I'm very pale right now, I feel like. <laughs> so I am gonna contour just a little bit because I do need some of that like slenderness structure to my face. So I'm just taking my Makeup Geek uh, Infidelity Powder. Adding that translucent powder like just makes all the powders on top of it blend so much easier. What is going on with my hair? By the way, when I went to Coachella, I like cut my bangs and like I'm living for them. I love them. I love having like side bangs again. Moving on to blush. Um, this is my new favorite thing in the entire world. The A Cosmetics Confidence in Your Glow. Um, this is the instant warm glow one. I love this. I love the nude one as well. I keep the nude one in my purse and I like... Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. My mailman came and I... Gigi freaked out. Anyways, so like I was saying, this IT Cosmetics Confidence in Your Glow palettes have been like my everything the past like month. Blush in here is my fave. I also use the bronzer a lot too. Um, it's just such like the perfect thing because it has like a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter all in one. And when like I go to work or something, I literally just like throw it on. I'm just gonna take the blush in here. And sometimes I like to like mix in the highlighter just so it has like a little bit more of a glow. See, it just like gives your skin like this really pretty glow. I love it. This is like perfect for like everyday makeup on the go. I just been like seriously like using it so much lately. And I just went a little too ham with that like right here. I get a lot of questions asking like if my makeup still goes on the same when I don't wear foundation and honestly yeah like I don't really think like anything changes. I think definitely setting like the primer or like even putting down just like translucent powder where you're going to be putting on um, powders on your skin. I think that helps a lot. I also got a lot of questions about if my highlight um, looks the same without foundation as well and honestly I actually love the way my highlight looks. When I don't wear foundation, um, I do this all the time. I don't wear foundation or anything to work. I literally just throw on like concealer, blush, and highlight. And I love the way my highlight looks when I don't wear foundation. So that's what has always been like a big thing for me anyway. So you guys, I have a new 80 watt and I just haven't opened it. I don't know why, but <laughs> so I'm just going to take um, LA Girl 80 watt as usual. This is my favorite highlighter and it looks so good when I don't wear foundation. Like, it, I mean, it looks bomb on its own already all the time. I 
And when I don't wear foundation, I really like my skin to look glowy and dewy. So I go a little ham. That's okay. A little too crazy with the highlight, I'll just take the brush that I set my under eyes with and kind of just go over it. I forgot to contour my nose, so I'm going to do that really quick. And this is the Morphe M514. I'm just going to highlight my nose with 80 watt. Well, that's pretty much everything that I do for the skin. I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyes off camera because I'm probably just going to do something really simple. Um, and then I'll be right back. Go ahead and just finished my eyes really quick. I just put on some shadows I wear all the time. Running late, sidetracked, and then top notch from... They're all from ColourPop. Those are the three shadows that I wear all the time. Like, if I don't know what to do with my eyes, that's what I do. And then I'm just wearing Coco Lashes and then Style Goddess. And then for my lips, I'm using the Huda Beauty Trendsetter Lip Liner with, with the Pure Cosmetic Squad Gloss, which is my favorite gloss. I totally forgot. I like to spray the Pixi Glow Mist. And this is just going to make you look super glowy. Anyways, this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. I hope this was helpful for you guys since a lot of you asked me to do a tutorial and kind of show you tips and tricks of what I do to not wear foundation. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!